Alright, today is October 1st, and it is the month of Halloween, so I figured this would be very fitting to grab out of my carrying case this fish, just to tell you a little story. It is called The Tale of the Cursed Fish. Yes, this story is guaranteed to give you the heebie-jeebies. So, let's go ahead and start this thing, shall we? So, it's this fish right here. Like, pull it up. Well, yeah, it's... Doesn't really look too much like a fish anymore, but... Uh... Well, here's the fish right here, okay? So yeah, the tale of the cursed fish. So once upon a time, there was a fish. He lived somewhere in the ocean, maybe the sea, who knows. And then I, my grandma bought it at the store. And then I tried to use this fish to feed to the raptors. Unfortunately, I was just a day too late when I tried to take it to the osprey nest and they have already migrated. Yes, they've already left without this fish. So now I've been stuck with it ever since. The question is, what bird will eat this fish? Only time will tell. In the meantime, this fish is getting more rottener by the second. Yes, do you see the Halloween theme going? Rotten fish as the Halloween theme right here. So, what am I going to feed this fish to? Am I going to feed it to a vampire? Am I going to feed it to a ghost? Am I going to feed it to Freddy Krueger? No. I have an even better idea. I'm going to feed it to a vulture. Yes, that's right. So, on the week of Halloween, I'm going to go somewhere nearby, somewhere where I live, close to to St. Mary's, Georgia, and I'm going to see if we can find vultures, maybe on a power pole, and then I'll park to the side of the road, walk out of the car, and then just start walking, and slowly but surely, I'll just drop it right on the street here, well not here, but on the street, and then we'll watch a vulture eating this fish. Yes, yeah, so that'll be cool to see. And even though I'm not really into vultures, I figured it would be quite fitting for a Halloween video to watch a vulture eat a rotten fish. And yeah, this fish is starting to give off a smell, although it's not giving it off right now because it's still frozen. But yeah, and what happens... Now here's a question for you. What happens if I can't manage to feed this fish to any vultures? Well, who's going to eat it now? Well, here's something really scary that I'm going to tell you. How's about I eat this fish? Now, that would be sure to give you nightmares for the rest of your life, for sure. Yes, surprise. Yes. I mean, could this actually happen? Uh, just by looking at the fish, probably not. But it doesn't really look too, too bad. I mean, you can kind of see. I mean, I have, there's like some pieces of the container like on the fish, but the fish is still intact. This is actually the smaller fish that I have. I left the other one in the freezer. That way, the other fish would still stay fresh. And then I'd switch them back and forth and really doesn't, doesn't really give off a scent. I can't really smell anything. Hmm. Seems to smell pretty normal to me. Yeah, so I've been taking good care of this fish. So it doesn't really... doesn't really taste... or doesn't really smell rotten at all. <laughs> so yeah, so that's good news. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and put this back. This whole Sapalia here. Okay. Yeah, so things are looking good. 
So this fish really isn't as rotten as you think it is, okay? Since I kept three ice packs in here, it stays pretty darn frozen, just to eat out. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and we'll just see how it goes. And then if I can't manage to feed any other birds other than vultures, then I'll go feed this fish to a vulture. By the way, vultures have pretty strong digestive systems and they can handle not only the bacteria in rotting flesh, but also the toxins that the bacteria excrete. You know, they, they excrete waste just like we do when we eat food. And the waste all gets spread over the, the meal that they've eaten. It's basically how that works. And it has chemicals in there which can kill certain cells, but because a vulture's stomach is so acidic, it doesn't make it far enough into its digestive system to be able to cause any damage. Now, we have pretty acidic stomachs too, and I actually read online, and I kid you not, we have a 1.5 pH stomach. That's really, really acidic, just so you know. I don't know what a vulture's pH level is, but I know it can't be too much lower than that because the lowest pH you can possibly have is zero. You can't have a negative pH. So, yeah, I mean, zero is as acidic as you can possibly get. So even a 1.5 pH stomach is still really, really, really acidic. And I'm sure some people can probably eat a fish and or a rotten fish, rather, or even a raw rotten fish and probably not even have any side effects to it. But it just depends on how your body handles it and the type of diet that you're eating and whether your, your, <clears throat> your cells are capable of fighting off these chemicals that are re released from it. So cooking a rotten fish would get rid of the bacteria but not the toxins. But I did re 